Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to extract data from a pivot table in Google Sheets by using the get pivot data function. We're going to use this pivot table that we created in a previous exercise. And we're just going to extract a bit of information from it. And because of the way the function works, we have to give it a few parameters, which I've set up here. So we're going to just put the function in first and then we'll just see what happens when we change these parameters. So I'll just get the function started. And what it's telling us is that it needs a value name first. And the value name there is gross. So we're going to be looking up information down here in the gross column. So I'll just click on that and hit comma. And then the next thing it says to do is just click anywhere on the pivot table. So I'll just click on the top corner and that just tells it tells the function which pivot table you want to look up. And you can see there, it's already given us an answer of 7553.4, and that's actually the grand total down the bottom. So we can already tell that that's looking up the right thing there. But next we need to refine what we're looking for. So if I hit comma, it's telling us that it wants the original column and then the pivot item. So you need to put in the exact names of the columns. So I want to do state and address status, and you can see address status up there with the lowercase s. I've got to type it in exactly right down here, and then we've got state as well, which is over there. So if I click on state, and then I just pick the value that we've actually got there for that for New South Wales, and then comma again, and I pick address status, and get that confirmed value. And then we finish that off. So that's now returning 179440. And if we look over here on our pivot table, that's right there. So the 179440 is in the gross column and it's for New South Wales as the state and confirmed for address. So that's New South Wales and confirmed. So that's gone in there and picked out the exact piece of information that we want based on these parameters. So what you can do now is because we've got this as a totally flexible function that's based off of these inputs, we can just change these inputs if you want to find something different. So if you didn't want New South Wales and you wanted Queensland, you just type in Queensland and now it's found 2185, which is right there for Queensland. And likewise, you could change that to non-confirmed or instead of gross you could change that to say net so we'll do that and there's net so it's 212461 which is Queensland confirmed net 212461 so it's a bit of a tricky formula but if you set it up right you can see that you can extract information pretty easily out of your pivot tables